boy, 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 boy. Damn it. Good morning, Mika here. I mean, of course, who else would it be? Welcome to day number 12. Yeah, day 12 of the 365. It's uh, time to go street fun. Uh, taking the train today, I'm gonna put my camera in my pocket when I try to get it on and off so I can actually lift my trolley up and over the gaps. Hopefully it's not too painful today. But we're going all the way to Circular Quay and that's quite a far walk, so train it is. This piece of the table here has been broken for about ever and I keep meaning to fix it but it's just taped up and uh, every now and again it comes a little loose. So now my table's on a lean and I need to fix it again. Exactly, tennis ball. Oh, come on, make some noise. Today's been weird so far. I've done like uh, three or four, sh three shows. I've done three shows so far. I was just planning on doing shorter shows without the ring and rope and just cards and cups and balls for now until I add some coin stuff eventually. But I've like been getting through the card set and then everyone's leaving and I just kind of end the show in hat because I don't know, I can't make people stick around for cups even though I'm like constantly like, yeah, cups, 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 I'll just drink the world coming up in just a second. But yeah, you guys wanna see that? Yeah, perfect. But everyone else leaves and it's just making it really bad. I think today people are catching a lot of fairies apparently, so I keep getting crowds of people and then they're like, oh no, we gotta go catch a fairy and leave halfway through the show, which sucks. Gaku had the tree pitch when I came down here, so I'm working in the sun. Uh, but I'm really, really hot. As I was saying before the battery died, Gaku had the tree pitch when I came down here, so I'm working in the sun. Now it's really hot, so I'm gonna go and try see if the shade is free, hopefully. It's the only shade on Circular Key. Coins deposited successfully. Lots of loud traffic. That's it for shows today. It's been a bit of a dud day. It's a Wednesday. Making my show really short didn't help at all, but I don't know what to add in place of the ring and rope right now because I'm waiting on some coin stuff. So it was basically too short to build a decent crowd, it seemed, although I ended up with a lot of crowds who just wanted to catch a ferry and left halfway through, which is really annoying. Time to catch a train. A uh, funny story as well. I spilled water all over my laptop last night. So yesterday's video was edited on my phone. Next up, red pen. Nailed it. Again. Easy as. Whew. And we're home. So yeah, last night I managed to spill water across the surface of this laptop, which absolutely sucks. But I think it's fine. I haven't turned it on yet. It said to leave it to dry for like 24 hours. So that's what I've done. But I did react pretty fast. As soon as I have it, I picked it up, put it straight upside down, unplugged everything, turned it off, and gave it a really quick wipe down. That is the exact reason why I had to edit the entire thing, edit the entire thing on my phone last night. Luckily I have an app called LumaFusion, which I've had for a few years now, I've just never used it. So uh, it came in really helpful and it wasn't too difficult. So that's good to know if it ever happens again. Guess we should probably do a trick though. A coin trick with a gold coin and a silver coin. I don't even know if you can see these, Australian currency is tiny. But we take the silver coin, we leave it in the hand. We take the gold coin and we just have to balance it on top. All you have to do is watch carefully as the coins switch places. We now have the silver coin here, which must mean the gold coin is in my hand. 
and that's coin magic with Australian currency. Oh, man, just fell over. Well, time for the moment of truth, I guess. Oh, we've got power. We've got power. It turns on perfectly fine. Uh, screen doesn't look damaged at all. From what I can see, I guess we just uh, start using it and find out if it absolutely craps the beard or not. 